On a Friday night, let's find out what's trending with our producer, Nikki Bussey. Yeah, she's got all the details once again, and eyewitness to a news story has even gotten bigger than the actual story. <laughs> right. Yeah, Lots of people are talking about this one today. The woman's name is Sweet Brown. Sweet Brown. And the Oklahoma City resident's description of a fire has gone viral. Sweet Brown said that she was <laughs> getting up to get a cold pop when she smelled the smoke in the air, and then she talked about getting sick with bronchitis, saying, Ain't nobody got time for that. Now her interview has been remixed into a catchy tune that you could actually download on iTunes. People are excited about that. Okay, <laughs> it is catchy, you're right. Yes. You go on and you just put, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Go on to YouTube and just, it is uh, it is a catchy little tune. I couldn't help it. I and made all of you guys watch that last night. It was hilarious. It was one of the, it's great. I mean, eyewitnesses are what make the story, and she made the story, honestly. And her name is Sweet Brown. I mean, Sweet she Brown. Just, yeah, it just gets just better and better. <laughs> she does. Pattis. She's the only one that got treated for that. And Mel Gibson has been known to speak his mind every once in a while, and that's landed him some hot water. His, outbur his outbursts have been recorded more than once, which makes you think he might be more careful with those words, but that's not the case. He's actually been caught on tape again. This time he was yelling at the screenwriter behind Basic Instinct while discussing a new project. And the, it's, I couldn't find any safe versions. It was full of expletives, and oh. he was screaming. I mean, like, honestly, bloody murder screaming at this guy. What is wrong with him? I don't know. He's an angry man. Is he angry or is he battling something? I mean, hopefully it's the latter. I mean, well, not really, but. My guess is, uh, well. Lesser probably, of two well, evils. Yeah, I mean, if he, if he doesn't get something as soon as he wants it, he probably goes off a little bit. That's yeah. nuts, yeah. though. Yeah, that's that's sad stuff. and realistic. Right. Yeah. Hopefully, that'll get fixed. April 20th today has an interesting and wide variety mm -hmm. of anniversaries to share. Today actually marks 13 years since yep. the Columbine shooting, which you see, see there. Um, that was when two teens killed 13 mm -hmm. people. It's also the birthday of Adolf Hitler. He was born on the state in 1889. Wow. He'd been 123 years still alive. And the BP oil spill happened two years ago today. You see that there. And not to forget, 420 is the, holi the preferred holiday for stoners. Marijuana <laughs> users worldwide love to light up together on this day. <laughs> John looks confused. Really? What? Uh, You've never heard of that? Happier note no, to end on than Adolf Hitler. In the 530 newscast, we had a guy who turned 114 today. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. But he was actually alive. <laughs> yeah. Was he celebrating 420? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe he was celebrating 420. I don't 420. think celebrated today. <laughs> it's weird that all, all those things happen on yeah. one day. All right, thanks, Nick. Well, Rob Ellis uh, talks about the chance for rain over the weekend next. Yeah, we can see it could be in for a soggy weekend. We'll be right back.